Welcome to Crazy Nights, 10 minutes or less. I'm Jonas. I'm TNT now. I'm Mike Dixwell. So let's start the time. Ding. TNT. Yo. I want to tell you a story about Mr. Jeffrey Reeves. Epstein? Oh, okay. Oh, I'm sorry. What he was didn't that? kill himself, okay? <laughs> you, you knew him personally, huh? Yeah, me and, me and the Ep. <laughs> me and the Ep. Okay. Yeah. He what's, was, the, uh, what's the guy's name again, this guy? Jeff Reitz. Ritz. I don't know. R-E-I-T-Z. Ritz. Yeah. Okay. He, uh... He had a very interesting consecutive day streak going on. Mm, ruined. Ruined. I know. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. I do. Oh, yeah. He, uh, yeah. He went to he went to Disneyland for eight years, three months, and thirteen days every day in a row. Twenty nine yep. ninety five. Yep. And then he got ruined for COVID. Yep. And this, I saw a picture of this dude. He yeah. looks like the type of guy that would go to Disneyland every day. <laughs> Does he have a Star Wars shirt on? Uh, in the picture, in every picture, he, he has a picture. I don't know, but he's wearing like one of those like army hats with like the string underneath that like I wore to the river to keep my face from burning. What are those actually called? A visor. The floppy fo- floppy brim all the way around hat, like uh, a fishing. Hat? Like it's kind of like, but it has a name. It's like where, uh, like a bucket hat. Am, uh, yeah, maybe I like guess. Yeah, probably. Hat. He's wearing one of those, and he has on I don't know some short shorts mm. and a big old gray beard. Mm. And he said that after he had to stop, he got depressed. Ah, uh, yeah, I could see that. He was like, "I love." It said uh, he missed the people, the cast members, and other annual pass holders who he became <laughs> friends with. The people who recognized and were even seeing the smiles on the parents' faces and the kids having a good time. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And, and I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, through, through a job, I had, I worked with a lot of people in the, in that, in the greater LA area, you know, Southern California. Mm -hmm. They love Disneyland, dude. I don't know how many of those people at one point or another been like, oh, I got an annual pass. We go X times a week. And I'm like, what? Uh Oh yeah. Yeah. And I know people from Ohio that have MF and timeshares at the one in Florida and they go like. Three, four times a year to the mm-hmm. same effing place for like 10 years in a row. And I'm like, I've never been once. So, uh, fun fact, Jonas, I lived in Florida for about five years. Yeah. And I lived about three hours from uh, this is Disneyland. I think, I think World is in Disney uh, Florida. World. Yeah. And uh, yeah, those people, are they exist even more in Florida. And they are insane. They are insanely just fanatics. They about go every day. I've... Dude, okay, so I used to go to, I used to have a bank. I'm not going to name the bank. And uh, I used to have a certain teller I would go to. Uh, she was a younger girl, kind of cute, uh, probably a little too young for me or whatever. Um, and I would, but she was like, what, like mid-20s, I guess? Like okay. 20, 23, 24. I would talk to her for, you know, when I when I got there. And she started telling me about her Disneyland fetish, I guess. Uh, that's the only way I can. Oh, it's a fetish. It's Absolutely. definitely a fetish. So then she was like, I was like, oh, so. I was like, oh, so you're working here? When what do you what are you doing on the weekends or whatever? And she was like, oh, me and my family are going to Disney. We go every weekend. And I was like, every weekend? She's like, oh yeah, it's great. You love it. And I'm like, uh, it's great. You love it. I'm like, but isn't it like super expensive? She's like, yeah, that's part of the reason I live with my parents still. I was like, so you <laughs> still live at home so you can go to Disney? She needs that fix, Jonas. Put Disney directly into my veins. That's how they are. Um, and Disney is great. Have you ever been? No, never, ever. I've never, I've never been even been to Florida. Nah, well, Florida is amazing. I don't think so. I've it, seen the stories. Uh, the, the stories. The, are, the humidity and the heat would murder me in a second. I would hate I, it. Okay, so this is the thing. Never don't go to Florida in the summertime. Go in the spring or in the fall. Right, because it's a little less humid, right? In, in fact, winter is 100% safe, too, but winter is a little colder. You you might get down into the 60s. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you might at night yeah. get into the 60s. Most of the time, it's the 70s. I'm, I'm going to put out a hot take here. I kind of have a Disney aversion. Like, I don't really like Disney anything. Yeah, because, like, look, I don't want Disney to be mad at us or anything, but I'm not really feeling any of, like, the Disney characters. Like I guess as I've gotten older, I, I definitely can uh, relate to Eeyore more and more <laughs> every day. But I'm not okay. gonna like walk around with like an Eeyore hat or shirt on or Dude, nothing. I like. Okay, I'm the type of person that like people can put on music, and like I don't care what it is for the most part. Like you put yeah. it on, I can zone yeah. it out. But when someone starts playing Disney songs, 
I like, I am like, please, <laughs> can you please turn that off? <laughs> I'm like, we are grown ass folks. You don't want to hear. I went cool, but oh, John did, you know. Dude, and, and for some reason, older middle aged women <laughs> love listening to Disney music, even if they don't have kids. And I'm like, what are you, why? Hey. Hey, yo, how, look, I'm going to blow your minds at home. How crazy is it that there's a collection of, uh, I lost the guy's name, rapper. Walt Disney? No, rapper. Little John. No, bigger than that. Um, new rapper, Big Steppers just came out with Drake. the Drake. In that same vein, but West Coast. Kendrick Meek Lamar. Mill. There's a whole there's a whole category of Ken or a whole uh, catalog of Kendrick Lamar songs that are Disney songs. What? Kendrick Lamar did the soundtrack for Black Panther. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Which yeah. is owned by Disney. Which is the Disney. Yeah, that's a little different because it's like a Mar it's like a superhero movie. It's not like I'm talking more about their animated stuff. You're, okay, so you're talking about classic Disney. Like, no, I, the I just new can't wait to be king. That come out. Yeah, like I just can't wait to be king. Can you feel the love tonight? Yeah, or like the Under songs the from Frozen, like all that. Like the song. See, but that's no song. one's out here jamming out to the to the Black Panther soundtrack. I mean, people definitely were. <laughs> you just really? didn't know they were Disney songs. That's I guess. what it was. Because it just kind of fits under, it doesn't feel and, like and, a Disney and song. And honestly, I'm being a little facetious, but like, <laughs> I'm just like, I, I, I like, dude, I just, like, okay, when it comes to, Di like, I didn't even watch a lot of Disney when I was a kid. Like, I had Disney stuff because it was everywhere and it yeah. always has been. But like, I would still watch Aladdin probably today. Um, and maybe The Lion King. But other than that, dude. Some, some of the classic Disney's are okay. They're pretty good. They're pretty good. They're pretty good. Um, Lion King's pretty good. Uh, yeah, Aladdin. Snow White can bite a big one. Beauty and the Beast, I don't care. There's so many of them, too. That's the thing is that they have so many different characters that they're bound to hook you in with, like, one. Oh yeah, absolutely. They're bound to hook well, you and then once one. you get on the train, they all cross. They cross hatch them, dude. They're they're mm -hmm. all they're all like, oh, here's the Mickey Spider Man crossover, right? <laughs> Honestly, I feel like we need to go to Disney. Like I've never wanted to go to Disney World, but I need to see if it's really as amazing as. Well, what's knows funny is I've talked to my buddy. One of my buddies, his wife is a Disney fanatic, and okay. they have and they have like she has like Disney Gucci, Gu Disney Louis Vuitton purses, like all this. All what she, about him? Is he a, is he a Disney fan? He has become one because oh. in what last well, I, I was talking to him, and I'm like I'm like, so you do this for her, right? And he was like, you know, dude. He goes. When we go down there, there's a lot of really cool stuff. Blah, 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 blah. I guess there's, like, wow. outside of the park for the kids, yeah. there's a ton of, like, adult there stuff are, to do. Yeah, 100%. And a lot of cool tech and a lot of cool, yeah. like, shows and a lot of cool, like... I hear it's an amazing... It's like going to a different world. Yeah, exactly. And because I just, just don't want to be part of it. So much money just injected into the area. Like, me and Jonas went to a restaurant where we saw a little robot that came out and delivered sushi rolls to us. Oh, that was cool. They have stuff 10 times more advanced at Disney. It's yeah. Crazy. They have one come around, give you reach around while you eat. I mean, kind of. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> they got the reach around bot 2020. <laughs> <laughs> they do have semen injection or semen extraction robots. Look that Where's up. Where's that at? In uh, Japan, most, I bet. Most, <laughs> I My say, guess is mostly Japan. in Japan. Or Anything China, that has to do with a robot and sex, that's Japan. Uh, they're yeah. they're all on it. But like, yeah, dude. I for this guy, like, I feel bad that his streak got broken, but I think that saved his life. And the funny thing is, like, yeah, he had the record streak, but there's people out there that were gaining. <laughs> yeah, but ain't no, but no, but ain't no, ain't nobody gonna catch him for a decade because everybody's streak got closed. I wonder how the hell you could even afford to go that often. Well, with the season pass, you go every day for free and you yeah, get free parking. But, like, don't you gotta go to freaking work, man? <laughs> like, what do you do? He had to be, he had to be. You go after like, work, gets off work, drives down. He's just like, I'm just gonna head down. You like, I go and get in the hot tub after work. He goes and he has to Disney after work. That's his self care. <sighs> There's people that have like timeshares down there. And stuff oh yeah, dude, and those things are like tens of thousands of yeah, dollars. Yeah. Oh yeah, dude. Anyways, that's all time we have for this episode. Please go to thecrazynow.com for Jonas. Uh, Disney. We want to be sponsored. TNT. We yep. up.